Hi lovelies. So what's the saying? Different day. So well, same day, same different. Uh, well, it's the same set, just different day. Um I'm not feeling well today. I'm having um how's a polite way of putting it? I'm having poopy problems. It's just another wonderful symptom of fibro. And it's just really great. Especially when you have to talk to other people about it. And then I realize why people with fibro are so freaking quiet about having fibro. <laughs> I look like I'm like covered in a mink. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm not feeling well. <clears throat> I took a nap today. And for most people, I think naps are good. I think I'm s safe to say that. But for me, naps are no bueno. It means either, it means I'm, no, it means two things. It means I'm sick, or going to be sick, or no or I don't know I just said or and I feel horrific when I wake up from them like so sick I just want to kill naps and my dad the same way when he takes naps he feels horrible when he wakes up from them and I think my brother does I think my brother's the same way too I'm not positive on that but I think he is but my dad for sure feels like crap if he takes this takes a nap crap a nap um, so yeah, I woke up from a nap and it's just one of those things like when you, when I wake up, I'm just like, oh man, I took a freaking nap because I don't, I'm not a napper. Like I don't on like just a regular day or if I haven't slept in, I don't know, seven days, I won't nap. I only nap if I'm not feeling well. So, it's just not a good situation. It was like, I know something's coming. I know it's coming. And it just sucks. But anyways, I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's um, from my flu shot. I don't really... I've had a bad reaction one time. But um, not a bad reaction as in, like, the severe allergic reaction or anything. But I, I like, got a, t a titch of the flu. But... I don't care how you feel about flu shots or flaring or whatever. Get your freaking flu shot. This pisses me off because I have I have severe asthma. And so I will die if I don't have it. Like me, old people, and infants. Like we are first in line to get them. But as a regular person, even if you're ill or have a, a lowered immune system, like people with fibro, freaking get your flu shot because... Uh, contradictory to popular belief, there are people that die from the flu that aren't elderly, immune compromised children, or freaking asthmatic. Like, you can die. So, like, people are like, oh, well, I flared for like a month after I got my flu shot. And I'm like, are you alive? Just asking, because that's much better than being dead. So, freaking get your flu shot. Like, I don't understand. Like, you could flare anyways. You could not get your flu shot, flare for a month, and then die from the flu. Like, I just, I don't understand people. I don't understand people. But this is one of those things that just gets me worked up because, like, not really a lot of things get me worked up because people are pretty idiotic anyways. But, like, it's just like, wow, like, I'm going to flare for a month. Yo, we're going to flare for months anyways. Like, I don't get it like it's much better better than having the flu i had a cold once where i literally had a cough for a year after a year after i had a cold i still had this horrible cough from it can you imagine if i had the flu like get your freaking flu shot and they're dead they're dead it's a dead virus they're not giving you a live vaccine so yeah, we might flare because our systems are low and immune. They're uh, compromised. So we might flare and get sick or whatever. But I'll take a month. I'll take a week. 
I'll take a night or whatever of flaring or being sick than probably six months plus of having the flu and recovering from the flu and recovering from my fibro because of the flu and then maybe not recovering at all if I die. So I'm going to go get my flu shot. Like that seems like a logical answer. It seems like I'm going to drink water so that I live. I'm going to have shelter so that I can survive. And I'm going to freaking get the freaking flu shot so I don't have to like worry about getting the flu, which is awful. I think people forget how awful the flu is. It's literally so awful. Like we have symptoms that are flu-like. Don't get it twisted. The flu is awful. So having the flu on top of having all the rest of this other crap that we have, just go to Walgreens. I literally just walked into the Walgreens and said, hey, I need a flu shot. They gave a little tiny, just snaps into you. I have a horrible irrational fear of needles. I still go. I put, I put my big girl panties on and I freaking get a flu shot. Like I don't look at the lady or look in the room and I have to walk, have my mom walk me in backwards like a freaking three year old. But I have stopped crying during it, which is progress. And I've stopped, well, that let's not get exaggerated i do shake like crazy and i generally feel like i'm gonna pass out but i have stopped crying during the flu shot but when i get my blood tests done i still cry but anyways the point of the story is go to freaking walgreens or cvs or wherever and get your flu shot because i don't want you to die and i don't want to have to listen to you for a freaking six months being sick and then wondering why you're sick when you could have taken two seconds out of your day to get a flu shot which is mostly covered by everything if not i think it's like 25 bucks or something out of pocket <sighs> why are people so stupid literally when i walk out of my house if i go to like life group and anyone is sick in the entire group I will get it so like your plan for like a horrible flu season and not getting it good luck with that good luck because my immune system is shot for sure anyways I just got a little worked up there I just feel so crappy and it's like to have the flu on top of what I'm dealing with now, I don't want anyone else to go through that. So, like, stop being an idiot and go get your freaking flu shot. Because that would suck. And I don't want anyone else to go through that. So, just deal with what you're dealing with. If it gives you a flare, roll with it. At least you don't have the flu on top of having a flare. Like, just look at it that way. Okay, people? Oh. <sighs> It's exhausting. So that just happened. <sighs> I love you. Um, what was the question? I was still thinking earlier of a question I wanted you guys to comment. Oh, I had a sandwich today. It was avocado, bacon, and cream cheese sandwich. And I don't know if that's like a normal thing to eat, um, but it is in our household. I've had it since I was like little. And of course I had it on gluten-free bread, so it wasn't as good, but whatever. But anyways, in the comments down below, let me know what kind of like unusual thing is like your favorite. Like I used to eat cucumbers and dip them in mayonnaise when I was little. <laughs> so something like that, like some strange, Thing that like just do you like that's like and maybe I don't know maybe it's not weird but you might think it is weird like it's a family recipe but it's actually something that everybody else eats I don't know just put it in the comments down below I love you guys even if you don't get the flu shot and you're one of those people those people I still love you um I just get really worked up because I don't want any of my friends to die or be sick for a really long time on top of being already sick because I know what you guys deal with. So, um, I think that's it. 
that was a big question because I'm very curious to hear what you guys are eating. I don't know why you can't see my face. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a free stress free day. Um, if you haven't gotten your flu shot, go tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But seriously. Um, and we're sending out X double O's, we as in Bella and I. <laughs> you know, those, like cat beards, it almost looked like she had like a dog beard. Hey, this is uh, me and Bella's ear. And if you haven't, if you don't have Instagram, check it out. Um, I posted pictures of a makeup look I did last night for you guys. Just like a dry run to see how it would work out. And it turned out really cool. It was a sugar skull on half my face and a pinup girl on the other side. And I did hair and makeup for both. Um, they're not the greatest pictures, but hey, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. What, what can you do? So um, check out my Instagram. It's in the down bar and uh let me know if you guys want to see that look and then i'll do it for realsies um tutorial style and show you how to do four freaking looks how to do a sugar skull how to do a pinup girl makeup makeup and then both hair i did hair for both of them sides boom so yeah um i love you guys and as always i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye